With Africa's population expected to soar from 1.4 billion to 2.5 billion by 2050, the world's second largest continent is poised to shape the global economy, influence major geopolitical decisions, and determine the next century's power balance. The African century seems inevitable, but despite Africa's rapidly growing influence, will America stand still as the continent change with the next US president? For decades, U.S. involvement in Africa has been inconsistent. During the Cold War, Africa was a strategic partner for the U.S., with several proxy wars fought on African soil. But after the Cold War, the continent fell to the sidelines of American foreign policy, often receiving only humanitarian support from the U.S. Agency for International Development. Despite the U.S. being the largest bilateral aid donor, providing $9.5 billion U.S. dollars humanitarian aid in 2023 alone, its funding mainly targets soft projects in health, education, and governance, leaving Africans more pressing infrastructure needs unaddressed. Today, African infrastructure faces a staggering funding gap, requiring between 130 and 170 billion US dollars annually, according to the African Development Bank. Yet, the US committed just 297 million US dollars to African infrastructure in 2018, while China pledged a staggering $25.7 billion. US dollars. Through its Belt and Road Initiative, China's massive investment in Africa's roads, highways, and ports demonstrates its commitment to Africa as a long-term partner. Chinese companies win half of all infrastructure content across the continent, but they aren't stopping them. China is now one of Africa's largest trading partners, with trade between China and Africa amounting to $254.3 billion US dollars in 2021 dwarfing America's 44.9 billion US dollars. Even on the global diplomatic stage, China's influence in Africa is unmistakable. The nation that only gained a seat to the United Nations in 1971 now controls four of the UN's 15 specialized agencies. As of May 2024, nearly all of China's peacekeeping troops serve in African nations, and the China UN Peace and Development Fund, established with a 200 million US dollar pledge, cements China's military economic, and diplomatic presence on the continent. This influence extends to other nations as well, as Russia's private military firm, the Wagner Group, now operates extensively across African states, challenging American security influence in the region. Meanwhile, American presidents continue to treat Africa as a secondary priority. Neither Joe Biden nor Donald Trump visited Africa during their presidency. In contrast, for over three decades, China's foreign ministers have made it a point to begin each new year with visits to African capitals, forging a lasting relationship. The Biden administration has provided substantial foreign aid, with a record 95 billion US dollars in foreign assistance allocated in 2023. Yet, over 90% of this budget goes to Ukraine, Israel, and the Asia Pacific, leaving Africa with only a fraction of America's resources and attention. Although Biden's administration has invested heavily in humanitarian aid, few steps have been taken to reduce Africa's growing infrastructure gap. With the African Growth and Opportunity Act set to expire in 2025, many African nations worry about losing critical duty-free access to the U.S. market for over 1,800 products. In 2023, the U.S. suspended Uganda, the Central African Republic, Gabon, and Niger from AGOA due to human rights violations, raising questions about whether the program is truly beneficial for African economies or primarily serves as a diplomatic bargaining tool for American interests. Kamala Harris, with deep cultural connections to the continent as the daughter of Jamaican and Indian parents, Harris has made some inroads promising digital expansion, projects during a 2023 tour of Ghana, Tanzania, and Zambia. Her proposed partnership for digital access in Africa aims to connect a billion Africans to the internet by 2030, a meaningful goal if backed by real investment. Could a potential Harris presidency mark a pivot in U.S. policy towards Africa? As for former President Trump, his America First agenda looms large. His initial presidency was marked by a push to cut foreign aid, reduce developmental budgets, and prioritize domestic issues over international aid. Trump has argued that America's tax dollars should only benefit nations aligned with U.S. interests, 
He also expressed skepticism towards Africa, calling some African countries unprintable names in 2018, which sparked widespread backlash and concerns about his views on the continent. So, as America prepares for its next election, what's truly at stake for US-Africa relations? On one hand, a Harris presidency might bring a more empathetic approach, yet substantial changes remain uncertain. On the other hand, a return of Trump could likely mean a rollback of foreign aid and fewer diplomatic engagement, especially for regions perceived as non-essential to American interests. But America's Africa policy has historically been driven by underlying domestic issues, immigration, budgetary constraints, and competition with other world powers. The focus has been primarily reactive, stepping in only when global rivals like China and Russia threaten to dominate the African stage. With America's foreign policy largely centered around countering Eastern influence, the continent could continue to be overshadowed by the U.S. focus on its rivalry with China and Russia. While Africa's population growth, economic potential, and resource wealth make it a continent to watch, America's relationship with Africa will likely remain at a crossroads. Without a clear strategic commitment, Africa may continue to look east for economic partnerships, infrastructure support, and political alliances. The U.S. faces a choice. Invest meaningfully in Africa and build a true partnership, or risk falling further behind as China and Russia expand their foothold on the continent. The next American president stands on Africa will not only shape the U.S.-Africa relationship, but may ultimately influence the balance of global power in the coming decades. Will the next president recognize this opportunity, or will Africa remain a mispriority in America's foreign policy? So, which U.S. presidential candidate's victory do you think will be more beneficial to Africa in terms of policy? Vice President Kamala Harris or former President Donald Trump? Share your thoughts and insights in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the new Africa channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our informative future videos. Stay informed, stay engaged. Thank you for watching.